Welcome to our MAP technical videos. In this video, we will be going through the ambassadors module, which is the place where you will set up your contact log, your workflow, and your college data. The ambassador is the only user type that has access to this module. You'll find it in the upper left hand corner under settings and then ambassador. You'll notice that there are three different tabs here. Each of these three tabs is what we're going to review in this video here. The first one is the contact log. The contact log is an important tool to maintain and update throughout the year as roles change and adjust within your college. This is a place to store the contact information for the main points of contact for many stakeholders at your school. It allows the proper folks to receive notifications. For example, if a student uses our public tool to upload their joint services transcript, the primary contact and the ambassador listed on this page will receive the email notification. The columns are separated out by the main map workflow users, veterans resources, and institutional contacts. Those listed in the map workflow are the primary lead users in that position. These are all the users who will have an active role in MAP, and this does not automatically create user credentials for these individuals. These will still need to be created in the users module. There may be others with the same roles listed here, but these indicate that they are the primary users in each role. Those listed in the Veterans Resource section and the Institution Contacts section may or may not have an app active role in MAP. However, they are great resources and important stakeholders when it comes to supporting the CPL efforts at your college. The importance of many users on this list may be self-explanatory, but I want to highlight a couple. If you're interested in learning more, we do have a document on MAP role descriptions that details into the importance of all the CPL stakeholders. The primary contact will often be the same person as the ambassador, but not always. It is okay to have the same user listed twice if that's applicable in your institution. The curriculum specialist is a really important contact to have here. MAP uses your curriculum data from Koki, the Chancellor's Office for Curriculum Inventory, and having this contact is quite helpful if there are any data questions or updates needed. Once you've filled out all of this information or made any changes, make sure to either select Next or one of these other two tabs in order to save your page. We do have an update coming that will automatically save these updates as you're typing them in, but in the meantime, make sure to select that Next button or another tab in order to save your information here. The second tab, so if we move along to here, Set Up Workflow and Users, this is where you will set up how your MAP articulation workflow works, whether it goes from the initiator to faculty to the articulation officer to implementation or in any different order. This also is where you will set up any shared curriculum if you have that within your district. There are two other videos that will detail more into this section. One is called Basics Articulation Workflow and the other one is shared curriculum workflow. So look for those if they apply to you and you'll find a lot more details into how to set up this section here. The last section we're gonna go into is number three, college data. In the college data section, you will see all of the information data for your college that is loaded into MAP. When it comes to catalog, descriptions, subjects, course numbers, and titles, all of this is pulled from Koki, so having that up to date is going to be the most impactful way to make sure that this is set up for users at your school. If you need any updates to this, please make sure to reach out to us. You can use the chat in the bottom right hand corner to let us know that you need a Koki update or to let us know any other questions you have. At this time, there is no way to manually adjust or update your own data, so please make sure to reach out to us if you need any assistance. You can toggle between these different courses. So we have the courses, official courses. These are the ones listed in Koki. Elective courses, we have manually put in units for elective courses that can be used when creating your students' plans if they are awarded electives. 
And then we have also loaded in some generic area credits, um, some patterns for the CSUGE and IGETSI. If you have local area credit you would like us to load in, we can do that as well. Just feel free to reach out to us and we can get that set up for you. Course SLOs are really important in terms of creating articulations. It's much easier for faculty and initiators, articulation officers, to review these articulations and compare the information from ACE or MAP exhibits to those courses by seeing these course student learning outcomes right in MAP. This isn't information that we can get from Koki, so this will be submitted by your college in order to in order to display on your map page. You can download the Excel here and fill that out, or we also have a template we can send you. When it comes to course cross-listed families, program learning outcomes, and program requirements, these are all optional fields, and if they will enhance your usability, you're more than welcome to provide those, and we can get those uploaded into your map site. Default area credit is going to be where you input the area credit that is awarded based on students completing basic training in the military. So for some schools, it may be course credit, while others, it may be just direct area credit, or maybe it's that that area is waived. If you have any existing articulations, we can load those in for your college, as well as when you create any articulations from MAP, you will also see those displayed here. And all of these you can export to Excel so you can see this in a table format. Program descriptions are also provided through Koki, so all of this information we are taking from them, including the program of study, degree type, description, and program ID. And for now, when you're finished with this page, if you've made any changes, just make sure to select that finish button or the previous button to lock in those changes and you will see your updates saved. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via the chat in the bottom right.